don't know why I'm bothering you. My name is Manuela. My father was a magician. My mother was a circus rider. I've been living in circuses all my life. My, my husband was a circus artist as well. Maybe it's wrong of me to trouble you. But I need to talk to somebody who understands. This last week I've been going to morning masses. I'm confused. And then someone told me that you were an American. It's very comforting. My German isn't very good. My dear young woman, would you come to the point? I have to get to another service. I see. Well, maybe you'll come again. All this guilt is too much for me. I feel it's my fault that Max committed suicide. You're responsible for someone, and then you fail your duties. And you stand there empty-handed and ashamed, wondering what you could have been doing. And now I feel I have to take care of Max's brother, Abel, as well. And that's even worse. Worse? Well, he's just like Max. He, he never says what he's thinking. He, he just charges ahead with all his feeling, and he looks so frightened. And I, and I try to tell him that we'll help each other, but... That's only words for him, and, and everything I say is useless. The only real thing is fear. And I'm sick. I don't know what's wrong. Is there any forgiveness? Would you like me to pray for you? You think that would help? I don't know. Now? Yes, now. Is it a special prayer? Yes, yes, let, let me think. We, we live so far away from God. So far away that he probably doesn't hear us when we pray for help. So, we must help each other. Give each other the forgiveness that a remote God denies us. I say to you that you were forgiven for your husband's death. You're no longer to blame. I beg your forgiveness for my apathy, my indifference. Do you forgive me? Yes, I forgive you. That's all we can do. I'm sorry. Parish priest becomes annoyed. Finally. Oh, a moment. I have to close up. 